Hey yo, what's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel here. So in today's video, what I have for you guys is gonna be a, another how to spawn trap video. Uh, we're gonna be how to spawn trap Nuketown in the most efficient way. Uh, we we did a, we did this video like a couple weeks ago, but we found a new efficient way, a more efficient way, I should say, uh, where as a team we can get a lot more kills and the, and the spawn trap are more like consistent. Uh, so it's, it's definitely a W trap. You guys are gonna see, man. I'm gonna go into details today on how to spawn trap it, what you need, wh wh how to set it up, everything you need to know. We're gonna go into details about that. So if ever you guys don't have what it takes to do the spawn trap, you guys like don't have to party whatsoever. I do this live daily on stream. Uh, every day we like pick up some people from the stream, the viewers, and we actually spawn trap you. So you guys are more than welcome to give it a shot. If you guys don't want, just want to couple, run a couple games with us, this see how it works and everything. You, like I said, you guys are more than welcome. My link to my Twitter is gonna be down in the description. But aside from that, man, we're gonna hop into today's video if you guys enjoy at any point you should be sure to drop a like if you guys are brand new on the channel man like the content and the vibes y'all be sure to hit that subscribe button but aside from that man let's get into it So you're gonna need a couple of stuff to start off this spawn trap. Uh, but before you actually hop in the game and everything, you need a couple of stuff to get uh, to get prepared. So basically, the first thing is you need some score sheets, man. So the score sheets you're gonna need sentry guns, air patrol, harp, sentry guns to block the spawns, air patrol to call the to counter the enemy, air patrol to counter whatever score sheet they're gonna have, and a harp. Obviously, it's pretty straightforward. Advanced UAV is gonna help you a lot uh, for the spawn trap. But the next thing you're gonna need to have is a full six man party. You can't be playing with randoms. You can't be like just searching up with like a four man and try to do this. Yes, you can try to do it but at the end of the day you're always gonna have some randoms like peeking spawn like capturing flags triple cap and all that so it's definitely more efficient to have a full six men uh with like comms and all that uh to spawn trap the game was gonna be pretty much specific we only do this in hardcore domination uh of course a bit rough because there's a lot of people that spawn in at the same time and like killing like four people at the same time could be rough you definitely want to try hardcore dom it's gonna be the most efficient way and for the class that'll be there's no specific class that you guys can run it's definitely depending on like the spot you're watching and whatever i'm gonna go through de details about that later just play with what you're comfortable man there's not a lot of things you need to wall bang there's like one spot you need to wall bang you need to play with like specific guns but i'm gonna go cover that later uh but aside from that man on the class setups you don't need any anything else maybe like ammo crates and sam turrets and scavenger for like ammunition uh but aside from that man you're gonna have all, everything you need to get the spawn trap ready all right so the way i'm gonna do this i'm gonna be showing you guys a layout of the map i'm gonna try to be as most useful as i can this is the best way i found to explain it on stream so this is how i'm gonna do it in the video i'm gonna go over the graph and then after that after showing you guys on the graph, I'm gonna go in game, like custom game, and showing you guys where this entry goes, where everybody's sitting at, and what's the best tips and tricks, like what are they watching and everything. So I'm gonna go into details about that. Yes, I'm gonna be a nerd about it. It's gonna be it's gonna be as most useful as you can to understand how the spawns work on Newtown. So uh, aside from that, man, let's hop in it. Right, so the first picture you see on screen is basically every single spawn point on Newtown. I've played it so many times that I know every single spawn point and I went into teeter mode and all that and I've watched what is every single spawn point. So the point of the spawn trap is to block as many spawns as we can. So when we have, when we let them have A, I'm gonna go into details about the flag, but basically the point of the game is to let them have A, you capture B and C. Like I said, I'm gonna go into a little bit more details on how to like to play the flags a bit later. Uh, before right now, we're gonna do, uh, they're gonna have A, we're gonna have B and C. And basically with just these spawns like that, with nobody on the map, the red dots are basically where they are gonna be spawning at. And the yellow uh, is uh, are the flip spawns as we call it. It's only if people are messing with the red spawns, they start spawning in the yellow spawns. So I hope that's kind of clear. Yellow spawns, they aren't supposed to spawn there, but if you force it to, if two, if two areas, too many areas are blocked, they're gonna flip there. So the point of the game, like I said, is to cover all these dots on the map. All right, so the sec second picture I got right here is gonna be the placement of the sentry guns. So like I said, at the beginning of the video, you're gonna need some sentry guns. Sentry guns are crucial because they're gonna be blocking the spawns. They're basically blocking the flip spawns to make sure that if, when you're sitting in the spawns at A, that they're not flipping back, the sentries prevent that. So you're gonna need four sentry guns. Uh, you can use three. This one, the middle one at the uh, at the blue cart is optional. You can have somebody watch at that spot, but the three others, is Especially these two, uh, these two back here are crucial. Like I said, to prevent them from flipping. So you're gonna need one sentry gun facing right here. Uh, it kind of has to be in an angle. We're gonna go in game later. I'm gonna show you guys how to actually place it. But it needs to be in an angle facing like this little box, like this little cubicle right here. Uh, Cause it's, it has to be blocking like all these spawns right here. Basically the green box uh, around that sentry gun is what it's covering, what it's blocking. To give you guys an idea of what every sing single sentry gun does. So this sentry gun right here blocks all these spawns. This one right here, when you place it right behind the barrel right there in that angle, it blocks all these spawns preventing them from spawning in this area. 
this entry gun pretty straightforward it blocks all these spawns the blue the jeep spawns and also behind it and also this this right here this entry gun blocks all these spawns right here and this alleyway so for this other screenshot right here this is where all the teammates go you and your team are gonna sit there's six players as you can see and the lines are basically what they're watching so the first player right here he sits behind uh right here he sits behind this wall and he covers this back area right here with his body like it like i'm covering it like my right side covers that spot so they're not spawning there and they only spawn back left right here so i just wall bang that like i said i'm gonna show you guys clip later of how we actually do it and uh for the second player right here he just hides in that little that little corner right there and they're all gonna spawn back here all these spawns back here he's all covering that number three player same thing here he takes care of the right the left side of the a house right here all this line and he covers in garage if they spawn in there same thing for four four is pretty much straightforward they all spawn in front of him he can pl play behind this little fence on nuketown right here jump over it when they spawn in or just peek it when, when they're spawning there player five pretty much straightforward he he crouches or he can even sit inside the house at the bottom of the house and he peeks out when they spawn at jeep so his point of the game is to cover these two spawns back here uh on jeep the sixth player right here, this is the one uh, basically that helps with the spawns all the way back left. Like I said, this is a main spawn. So there's a lot of people that spawn there. So he basically spends his game on top right here, just wall banging all the way to garage. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it. I got some clips for you guys. And he basically wall bangs all the way in this corner right here to help. And he's the one basically calling out when the sentry guns are broken at the back of C. He's like the guy saying, oh, we need more sentry guns at the back of C. Oh, they flipped that C. He's the guy taking care of that. And if ever they flip, he goes and, and kills them and place, replaces the sentry gun uh, or talks to the team. So basically, this is the last screenshot basically of everything you need to know uh, of like every spots. These are the sentry guns, the flip spawns, the spawns, and it, it basically right here, as you can see, like the uh, like the blue squares kind of is what everybody spots, like what they have to watch, like what spawns are they watching. Player one watches all these spots. Player two watches these ones. Three, four. It's pretty much straightforward. With this map, you can basically see what everybody's kind of role is. Uh, this is the most efficient way to do it. It's nothing serious, but this is not the way the most like efficient way to get as many kills as you can. If you guys are like grinding for XP and all that, we're just trying to get like world records, kills, man, everything, have fun, spawn trapping like the good old days. This is the best way to do it right here uh, with the six men. There's one thing you need to know with the spawn trap is very very crucial. If you guys just play like this, set up like this they won't flip. The only time they will flip is if these two pink spawns, called I call it the main spawns, are being peaked at the same time. So I give you an example. Let's say player three comes in garage and peaks at this back spawn right here. While player two is looking at that one, they're all gonna flip in yellow spawns, the flip spawns like I mentioned earlier. So it's crucial that nobody peaks uh, the pink and the two pink spawns at the same time. That's why player one's sit behind the wall not actually looking at the spawn he only walls bang he wall bangs it he doesn't peek it the second he peeks it the trap is destroyed they flip they destroy the sentry guns it's over so it's really really important to not beat the two yellow spawns at the same time if not the trap's gonna be broken and it, it, it's just not gonna work i'm gonna go show you guys in game of how to set up, set up the sentry guns like where exactly you guys are more visual people of in game and actually where everybody sits and what's the role i'm gonna show you guys clip of in game of us spawn trapping uh, to show you guys a little bit how it works so the first thing i want to show in game is actually us uh placing the sentry guns where they go as you guys can tell the minimap we got all our four sentry guns right now and i'm going to show you guys uh, actually in game how they're placed so the first one left side of a uh i mean wait when i say first one i'm actually going to start with these ones first because this one of the most important ones these one of the first sentry guns you want to place uh the, the ones in back c right here at the back of the spawn uh in, in our spawn called the c spawn so right here we got one sentry gun right here we found if it, uh, we found a more efficient way to place it like right here in this angle right here like the further back you can go the better because it's going to also block this back spawn right here so if you can place it right here right behind this barrel right there so it can like actually watch in that direction so it covers like all this spawn right here so that's the, that's the best way to do it this sentry gun right here this is the way to place it but the way to better uh, do it a bit better is you want to back it up a little bit like right here so it covers like all this alleyway especially this corner right here so it covers like all this alleyway right here and also this back spawn right here so with these two sentry guns back here they're all going to cover like the back spawn uh, like i showed on the screenshot earlier 
And once you have those two central guns, then you can start placing them uh, 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 at blue car, uh, at Jeep, and at uh, Lamborghini. Uh, that's how we call their left side of A. So the left side of A, this is how you place it. It watches like the left side of A and inside the garage and this spawn right here. There's like a little spawn right there. So it makes sure it covers all that. And the other sentry gun right here basically just covers Jeep. You can place it directly like right here. So it covers this this spawn in the alleyway right here, this spawn right here, and there's two spawns behind the car, behind the Jeep uh, right here. So this this is the sentry gun placement. This is where all four sentry guns basically go. This is the best way to place them. All right, so now we're gonna be covering this spot. We're gonna go with number one, the one that's back left of A uh, in the main spawn. This is usually where I personally sit. And uh, th this is where you're gonna get a lot of kills. So the point, the point of this set, if you guys sit here, is to wall bang that spot in the corner right there, directly in the corner when I'm aiming at. This is one. This they're all gonna spawn in that back left corner, and you actually want to watch uh, these little two spots right here, because they're gonna spawn in this corner right here and this corner right here. So if you sit in a way that you can wall bang and uh, watch like from your right these two spots, they're not gonna spawn here and here. They're only gonna spawn in this corner. So right here, that's what I'm doing personally. And you're gonna see they're gonna spawn in that corner right there and that's all basically what i do is kill them as soon as they spawn in that left corner that's basically all i do and i make sure that i make sure they don't get out so now for the second guy the second guy right here if he's right behind me we work together we watch the back spawns right here the two main spawns and he basically what he does is he hide behind this little this little wall right there so they can actually spawn all in this line right here so he he can get some kills Yes, you can block it to get more ki more kills in like the back left of A. This is more like of a team spawn trap so whenever everybody can get killed. So he just sits in that corner right there and he waits for them to spawn right there. I, I can slow it down a little bit and he just watches that. He stays in that corner. He sit he waits for me to kill them back there and then they're gonna spawn right there and he just peeks it. That's all he does. He watches those three spawns right there. They're on the little straight line and every time they spawn, he just peeks it. So we're not gonna be uh, covering the third, the number three spot, the left side of A. This guy basically just watch inside garage and left side of a it's pretty much straightforward there's a couple of spawns he just makes sure that nobody runs from this left side into the spawns and kill us in her flank so that's that's pretty much just his job I, as you can see right here uh on this side right here as i'm watching right there it's a spawn there's some spawns right there and right there so he just covers that and make sure also that when they spawn in the garage right here uh he's watching it but if he's sitting right there they shouldn't spawn back here because he's technically like looking at it so that's his spot right there we're not going to be covering the number four spot right here uh, he's basically right side of uh, the, the A house and he just watches this little alleyway to make sure nobody's flanking us And he also watches mid match to make sure that if somebody runs out He gets them if somebody try to run in and flank us He gets them. So He's just chilling right here at this side of the house and you're gonna see in this spot right here They mainly spawn in like the, maybe in this corner and also in behind this little bunker uh, They don't spawn too often here, but they do so he just makes sure that he just like covers like the mid and also these spots so If he can jump shot the fence, he can kill them. So that's basically the way he watches that right there by sitting in this position. I'm gonna be sp spectating number five. Uh, he's the one sitting at like the jeep right there, covering these spawns, and he 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 makes sure uh, that that everybody that spawns here doesn't like run out uh, to chase us. So there's two spawns right here, one in back here, one back here. And as you can see right now, he's killing somebody right there. There's a couple ways you can watch it because they do spawn like right here. And like right here you can either watch it from uh, how he's doing right there and just like PK once in a while to kill them but they're gonna be running out fast so you want to be you want to be sure that uh, you're, you're watching it properly and they don't run out another way you can do it is by sitting we saw somebody sit inside the house right here and uh, once every like they spawn he just he just peeks out the door like that and kills them like the back two spawns right there so that's the way you can watch it too and uh, the last spot we're gonna be covering is the number six spot. As you go here, is the spot right here. He sits in this top window right here, and all he does is wall bang. You see it on the screen right now? He's wall banging back there, and he also has a direct line of sight on blue car, which is great. But his his main job basically is just the wall bang in the back left of uh, uh, of this A spawn. You're gonna see him right here. He takes out his LMG. You can do it with LMG. It works the best with LMG. And all he does is just spray back there to make sure to kind of help me uh, with with the spawns, because that, like I said, is a main spawn. So two people shooting back there there's a w and that's basically all he does he like i mentioned earlier he also makes sure on the mini map when the sentry gun blow out at sea he calls that out for his teammates and we go to replace it and he's actually like the one to just cover like the the the, the seaside of the map if ever they flip 
All right, so the last thing I want to cover is basically how the flag works, how we play the flags. Uh, basically, the point of the game is to make the game last as long as possible. Uh, the more the game lasts long, the more kills you can get. It's pretty straight, it's pretty straightforward for that. And the way we do it, uh, basically, is the first round, uh, we let the, the, the round end as fast as possible. When I say the round end, meaning uh, we don't cap B. When you don't cap B, the game automatically ends after like a couple points. Uh, in this case right here, we are at halftime right now, and it's 40 to 40. So the round ended at 40 to 40, and uh, it, we're, we're going to be, we're going to hop in, in the second round. Uh, why we do that uh it's basically because the first round you don't want to set up the trap it gives us like a longer second round uh because if like, let's say you play like the first round like the 100 100 points it's at uh, halftime it's gonna break the traps gonna break the sentry guns uh you're gonna need to maybe like reflip the spawns reset the trap so by ending the first round as like as fast as possible it gives us a longer second round it goes like 160 points uh for us to actually be spawn trapping so without without breaking the spawns without like the halftime bothering us so first round we just focus on getting our streaks and second round we set up the trap so right there as you guys can see uh the, the first round just ended right there 34 to 40 and after that i'm going to open the mini map and you're going to see how we basically started uh the, the the first one right there so we start the round the first thing we do is we cap c we let them have a uh and after that our teammates are placing the bo two boat sentries right there we're also placing the one by blue car and we don't cap b right away second round you don't want to cap b right away you want to cap it around like 60 70 because it's close to 80 the round ends so we just make sure by capping around like 60 65 maybe even 70 if uh, if we push our luck uh but uh after that we just get set up man once the second round started we just get set up and like i said man at, at around like a, a 60 points you're gonna see if i fast forward a little bit uh we're gonna we're gonna be capping uh we're gonna get we're gonna we're gonna be capping b but for the moment man we're all trying to set up in our spots watch our own spot get the spawn trap going and after that you're gonna see we're gonna call up people like for actually going to cap b uh, at around 60 points so if i check the points right now 50 uh 60 points we cap c and uh, it's pretty much straightforward for that. So that's how you want to do it. In this game, you don't want to let them have B. In the previous year, we just balanced them from between like them capping B, us capping B, them capping B. But this year, if they have B, spawns are weird. They flip too much. They spawn like inside the houses. There's there's like some new spawns that come out of nowhere. And yeah, you just don't want to let them have B. You want to have B and C for the rest of the round. And you're gonna see by the end of the game, we're we're gonna be we're gonna end the game with like uh, I think they're gonna have like close to like 50 points. I think that's that's how the game goes. Yeah. So 200 to 150 to 151 is usually how it goes. Uh, there's like there's like a 50 points we could go get uh but it's not it's not like that crucial uh but that's just the best way we can make the game last as long as possible 200 to 150 so that's pretty much straightforward for the flags that's just what i wanted to cover first round don't cap b second round cap b at around like 60 and for the rest of the flag just want to make sure you always have c and you always let them have a all right, so that pretty much covers it up for this uh, for this spawn trap tutorial on how to spawn trap domination, uh, especially hardcore domination. And uh, I hope I was clear, man, because sometimes my way of explaining something doesn't get to you guys. Uh, that's how I explain it on stream. A lot of people get it. Some people don't. Uh, so uh, and so sometimes my English is not the best. I'm a French. I'm French. So sometimes my English is not the best. So there's, there's some sentences that don't make sense. So I hope I was clear. If you guys got any questions, man, you can come ask me on stream or you can comment down below. I'm going to be I'm going to be uh, more, more than happy to answer you. And uh, so, uh, yeah, so like I said, man, hope it was clear. Hope you guys understood. If you guys enjoyed the video, man, y'all be sure to drop a like. If you guys are brand new around the channel, y'all be sure to subscribe. We're trying to hit that 5K subscribers uh, soon, man. So that's a big W. But aside from that, man, hope you guys are going to have a great day. Hope you guys are going to stay safe out there. And catch you guys later, man. Peace out.